This is evidence of a pest that has become far too common in Florida, in South Florida. Uh, the nickname is a Sri Lankan weevil. Basically, the weevil sort of looks like a grayish white ladybug and it's not able to fly except for fly down. But what it does is the larval state is in the ground and when it becomes an insect, it comes up, it marches up the trunk of the tree and out to leaves, which it enjoys eating. These are mango leaves. It likes mango leaves. It really likes lychee leaves. And it likes a lot of other kinds of leaves too. They're most active at night, so you might not have actually seen the bugs. Uh, but if you go out to your tree and at night with a flashlight, you will see them. In fact, one of our customers has killed, he estimated over a thousand of these bugs at night because he had one young lychee tree that was just getting decimated by this particular pest. Uh, the larger lychee trees do not seem to suffer as much. I think it's because the bugs have to walk further to get to the leaves. So if you have young trees, especially lychee trees, sometimes mango trees, uh, it's a pest to look out for. It's a fairly tough bug to kill because the larval state is in the ground. So you can kill all the bugs that you see, but you don't actually need uh, pesticides for that, uh, you know, because a lot of people just pick them off and crush them. I know that's pretty disgusting, but it is effective. Um, in order to really get rid of them, mulching helps. Uh, you know, it creates a better soil environment for other things to attack the larval state. Uh, but the conventional uh, pesticide people just drench the ground with, you know, pesticides that will kill everything, including the larval state of this bug. So, of course, I recommend the non nasty chemical solutions. So, try shaking the branches, getting those, those bugs off and trying to kill them. Uh, it, sometimes just in a bucket of soapy water will be enough to kill them so you don't actually have to smash them. Um, and then put a lot of mulch underneath your tree, not directly in contact with the trunk of the tree, but it will help. It might not be effective immediately, but it's a good long-term solution or at least it helps a lot.